Hey everyone, welcome back to John's Watch. Today I'm taking a look at a new game called Godhood. This was released on Steam on July 10th, 2019 in Early Access. Its trigger price is $33.99 Canadian, so it's probably around $28, $30 US or your regional equivalent, and it's developed and published by Abbey Games. So Abbey Games actually developed Reyes, as you can see in the corner down here, and also Renowned Explorers. I really loved Reyes. I still haven't played Renowned Explorers, but it's on my to playlist. So when I heard they were doing another game, I was very excited. So this is a simulation strategy game where you create your own religion, you guide and develop your faithful disciples in the strategy god game Godhood. And for, for any kind of like strategy game, I always try and play it a bit before I do the video. So I played this for about 40 minutes and that was enough for me to be able to do this video. Unfortunately, I don't think it's in a very good place right now. Um, at the time of recording, I'm recording on the 11th. It came out yesterday. Um, the devs are kind of aware of a lot of criticism that's coming towards the game, and they're going to try and improve it. Like, Reyes was such a good game. Apparently, Renowned Explorers is fantastic. So I'm, I'm pretty confident they'll be able to get this to a good place. But as of right now, it's not in a particularly good place. So we're going we're gonna to start up a new game, and we'll, 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 see, we'll see what it's like. I'll be able to show you. One of the biggest complaints is that it's basically, it feels like a mobile game, and for 30 bucks, it's way too expensive. So this is probably like the deepest the game gets, where you're creating your your, your god avatar pretty much. Um, well, let's just kind of randomize until we get something we like. Wow. Okay, I like that. A big beautiful butterfly. How should we address you? Um, Mr. Butterfly. Perfect. What's our religion called? Butterflicism. <laughs> what are your worshippers called? The butts. The butts worship Mr. Butterfly, god of butterflicism with a simple fervor. Um, I'm a god, yes. What's your style? Uh, we'll just go for neutral for now. Uh, you can change like, your background colors, you can customize quite a bit actually, but I'm fine with just randomizing it. Let it be known, Mr. Butterfly. Here he comes. That's me, I'm Mr. Butterfly. For as long as there have been people to believe, there have been gods to vie for their attention. Mr. Butterfly is one such god, destined to claim their place in humanity's hearts and minds. They start with a single soul, destined to become the first prophet of Butterflicism. I'm Mr. Butterfly. From nothing, Mr. Butterfly appeared before Papan. Papan renounced their faith in the old god, Quetzalcoatl, and places a Mr. Butterfly instead. First, Mr. Butterfly taught Papan about what is right. In my name, you will spread. And we choose... what do we want to choose? War. Absolutely. It doesn't really in, uh, impact the game at all. It's just... that's that's what you've got. <laughs> you choose it at the beginning and that's it. The elders who worship the ancestors consider this idea to be dangerous. This will only lead to destruction and agony. They couldn't see how they were wrong in opposing Mr. Butterfly. A sacrament was called to determine who's right. So this will just take us into combat. And combat's... Kind of like auto chess, it's just automatically done for you. Basically each like character will roll, you'll see them roll in a moment, they'll roll through with all their available attacks, it'll randomly choose one, they'll do it. So you have no impact on combat right now. You can press space to look at a bunch of detail stuff and there's a lot there, a lot of it doesn't make any sense. But you can actually see like all, all the, the attacks there. And I'm dead. So you're, you're supposed to lose the first fight. <laughs> but old Papan still gets a little little bit of experience, which is good. The elders were resolute in their judgment. Papan and a few followers were banished from the old city. Before leaving, Papan prophesied that one day Mr. Butterfly would come back and conquer the old city. One day we will return. Papan continued to travel for days with the exiled. The people were growing tired and hopeless. Finally, on a fertile and lush terrace, Mr. Butterfly spoke again. This shall be Mr. Butterfly's holy sight. And so this is where we do like our strategy, like management stuff. This is our camp, basically. Um, I guess we, we don't have any like real followers, we just got Papan. So we'll get Papan to uh, do this thing. Um, we'll just increase, increase, increase faith a little bit and we'll get one to two butts who are our followers. And that'll start us in the first age, Age of Darkness. And we're starting to draw people in. 
Thanks, God. So beautiful. And we'll just pass our turn. And this this is most of the game, pretty much. By praying at the holy site center, Papan's faith in Mr. Butterfly grew. The more faith the disciple has, the better they serve. Two disciples in all this prayer pledge themselves to butterflyism. Their young Isel and Tizo. Okay, great. So now that's unlocked more sacraments, which was the combat, so now we can go onto the world map. We can take our, our people. In fact, this is this is the old city. This is like the first part of the, the story mode, pretty much. That's where we have to get to. You can see it's like a seven difficulty. Uh, three difficulties. what we should be doing right now. So we'll go over there. We'll choose all three of them, put them in there. I'll start our mission. And again, we, we let it load and we just let it work itself out. So we've got 40, 40 health, I guess. And they've only got 20 health. So we should kill them pretty quickly here. They're all godless, that's why. Oh, they're playing a song though. So they don't do much damage either. Okay, now we'll probably kill them with butterfly magic. We did it! We killed them with butterfly magic. Hooray. Okay, so Papan comes like automatically with a class. As soon as these guys get their first level, we can unlock their class. So these are the three favorite ones. Executioner. Uh, Zealot, or Guardian. Execution sounds pretty good. We'll take it. This one, you can be... Ooh, a Beast Walker. Oh shit, Papan was already an Executioner. Oh well. Uh, yeah, be become a Beast Walker. Perfect. Okay, so we, we, got, we got a couple more... Um, followers there. Um, and basically, like the more you have, the, the more your god will level up. So, like, next combat, we'll probably be able to level up our god. Um, miracle charges are just ways to get more, more like, of the in-game currency kind of thing. So, we'll wait for our next turn. They're all telling about their exciting conquests. And we can now construct two miracle buildings. It's basically you get to do that when a new follower levels up the first time, and you choose their class. So, what do we want here? Let's get a tavern. Because, really, nothing much matters right now. <laughs> we'll get a little market. They give, like, slightly different buffs, but really, like, nothing. Nothing really matters. <laughs> so we can do a miracle. Let's get old Isel. What can we do? We can get either... Um, like, doing a miracle will kind of give that disciple more stats. So we can get uh, Tizo... Uh, more health and devotion, or cunning and knowledge. It, it really doesn't matter. And that costs 30 offerings, so if we went to do it again... Oh, that actually only costs 25 right now. Perfect. So you get you get three actions per turn, basically. So two of, the, two of our actions are miracles. We'll do the last one. We'll be uh, just the ritual thing or whatever. And that's most of the gameplay, is... Filling those three actions, pressing next turn. Filling those three actions, pressing next turn. Going out into the world, doing a combat, winning combat, coming back, filling three actions, next turn. And that's that's pretty much it. I think all of these miracle things just have two outcomes. There you go, so they're all leveled. We will get them doing a little bit of praying. Bam, next turn. <laughs> I guess Papan probably could have done one. Okay, now let's go out to the world map. Let's go. Oh, if we go here, we can get a relic, which is just an item. Oh, better not because Tizo is recovering. So, you know what that means. Yep. Bam. Next turn. <laughs> So you can already see, like, it does feel quite like a mobile game, doesn't it? But it's so expensive. Oh, I guess our god leveled up. Hooray. Like, Reyes was not very much. In fact, Reyes is... 10.99 full price. And Reyes is a really fun game. Um, you don't get to choose anything when you level up, you just get these things here. Bam. Okay, now we can 
start building up these offerings again. So we'll just stick that there. Layout does not matter. They're not connected at all, as you can see. There's like no roads or anything. So now we can get them to either get faith and followers or get offerings. So let's get them all on offerings right now, next turn. Okay, so we could do a miracle if we want, but we're going to go out here. We're going to do this one now, hopefully. So we put all three of our people in, start mission. It will ought to do combat 40-30. We should be able to do it. Again, we have no control over this. We don't have any control over most of the game. So it's, it's, it's a very unfortunate start for Abbey Games. Like I said, like th this is just their third game. The only other games they have are Reyes and Renowned Explorers, both of which were big hits. Uh, Renowned Explorers, way more than Reyes. I don't hear a lot of people talking about Reyes, but I really like it. I think it was actually one of the first games I ever bought on Steam, and like I still love it. <laughs> so yeah, this uh, this was this is a bit of a letdown so far. Like I said, it's been out for a day. Um, I'm just gonna bless a relic, you can do it, Papan. It is in early access, like, it's very likely it'll get into a good place eventually. Uh, improves all miracles and the ritual, great. So we have to put this in a miracle, okay? Uh, so we go market, relic, that one. Done. I mean, you've pretty much, you've pretty much seen the game right now. Like, I... I played for half an hour more, probably. I think I got up to level five. It was basically all the same. I unlocked a couple more buildings. Um, I think I had like six people in the party. It's uh, yeah, it's it's not in a good place right now. It's overpriced. There's not enough interactivity with the game, and it's just a letdown compared to their their track record. Oh, here's another part. I guess we get um, we get like cards like cards for people, um, and we can recruit them. What do you want? Plus two might, sure. Okay, so we can only do this like every 20 turns, I think. You're basically interviewing people who have come along to try and join, so we'll reveal all of them. Um, at least he's not very good. We'll take Mazza. I think we can get two of them. You're in, and you're in. I think that's it, yes. Uh, and again, we just put them into their first combat, they'll get their level, and then... Um, sorry, and then they can like get their class, and get more miracles and stuff. And yeah, that's, that's the game. That's Godhood right now. Um, pretty disappointing so far. I have high hopes they'll be able to fix it and make it into something decent eventually. Um, but for now, definitely hold off. Um, they're, they're communicating. Right now, they're pushing out multiple updates a day. Um, they're just like small hot fixes right now. But I think they did say they've got like their first big update coming in about a month. So maybe keep an eye on it, check back in in a month, see what it's looking like. Uh, but that was Godhead. Thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.